Alright, so as I'm sure many of you already know, currently in the game, all of the map markers are completely behind a paywall. So if you're completely a free-to-pay player, you are not going to be able to activate any of these markers over here on the left-hand side, which means that you won't really have an idea of where quests are located unless you're actively doing that quest. You also won't be able to see any of the town locations or waypoint locations, also known as checkpoints. But worst of all, a lot of people are missing out on the sort of like random bosses that are all around the world. Now, as an added bonus, I'll go ahead and enable the waypoints. If you guys want to go ahead and take a screenshot of this, there is two over here inside of the sandstone aisles. And then as sort of like a quick little scan, all of those green markers are basically waypoints that are spread out throughout the entire world. We'll just go ahead and uh, save you guys the Robux right there. Unfortunately for the harvest, uh, I can't exactly show you because even if I enable all of these, as you can see, the entire world is just littered and you won't exactly know which is which because they are labeled as moonstone and rock but they all have more or less the same exact pinpoint which is kind of ridiculous but it is what it is specifically what we're going to be focusing on in today's video is the bosses as well as what items they drop first one i'm going to show you guys is snow hide he's actually located not too far right outside of the main little uh capital being virtus over there so if you make your way over to this location right here that i'm showing you're going to find snow hide now this guy right here as soon as you come in you're going to hear that noise and he is that basically huge polar bear that's laying down right there to show you guys some of the drops he is a level 29 boss which means that you can go ahead and fight him at a very very early stage and he drops pretty much every single blue item in the game now given it's a really terrible drop chance but as you can see someone over there is actually doing the fight right now and completely cheesing it by standing on that tree so yeah if you want to do that you could just come through this hill up here land on top of this mountain land on the tree and you should be able to defeat him from standing right up there either way the rarest thing that you can get from him and probably the best thing that you can get is the horse mount it's a 0.1 percent drop chance so if you want to attempt that at some point feel free to but if you notice at the very top here his health is going down and he is not attacking that player nor can any of the other bears so yeah it's a cool little trick actually that was totally not planned all right let's move on to the next one for the next one on the list that you guys may have already encountered this we're doing these sort of in order by the way from the lowest level working our way up to the highest level ones but karnak is one that a lot of people already know about at some point during the game around level 25 27 you will end up having a quest to defeat him he's located inside of the ogre's stronghold and we're going to actually head on over there right now so i can show you guys a quick little way to cheese that fight as well all right so once you arrive here this is basically what it's going to look like you're going to have a checkpoint that you should definitely go ahead and claim right there but once you've done that as you can see there's other players that are currently here and they are actively doing the cheese that i was talking about so i don't really want to interrupt that but basically you stand on the very edge right here where they're standing and you shoot it with a bow you have to make sure that your bow does have the ability to shoot at a further distance more specifically if you come over here to bow and you go to the solar arrow you're going to need this one right here called range it increases the range by 50 percent that's going to allow you to fight the boss from where exactly they're standing now if you move past that line the boss will start running towards you and unfortunately he will one shot you the only downside to the spot that they're using is that you will still have to deal with all of the ogres that are around the boss as well as the ogres that are out here sometimes they will trigger the ones that spawn over on this side here and sort of in the middle so you'll need to be aware of all of that stuff going on around you as for his drops again i'm sure you guys are super familiar with this but he basically drops the rest of the blue stuff and then the quake whisperer bow as well as the great sword and all of that other good stuff he is level 37 uh unfortunately he does not have a mount though let's move on to the next boss now the location that i'm standing at right now might be extremely familiar to you guys because i'm sure you've already crossed paths with this uh it's not really considered a boss it's considered more of like a mini boss or a side boss but right here where i'm currently standing there is a giant spider that spawns in i believe it's give or take about level 53 if i'm not mistaken realistically i'd like to show you guys the boss so let me try hopping servers here and seeing if i can join a server that still has it alive all right perfect first server that we join and it is still here so as you guys can see his name is tarantox and he is indeed level 53 let me open up my map here so i can show you guys the exact location so over here capital city being the Virtus town so it's going to be right in between Virtus wilderness as well as skitters nested village and 
elder's wood so right dead center again he is level 53 pretty decent drops um he does have the celestial sigil only reason i'm pointing that out is because i have had a couple of you asking me where you can get celestial sigils as a drop not sure why you would want to farm for these as a drop when you can just buy them from the grocery store but aside from that he also drops a lot of the legendary pieces which to my surprise i didn't even know this i might have to start farming this guy because he does have the dragon whisperer bow even though it is a 0.8 percent drop chance um aside from that he also does have the enchanted deer mount which is really really cool uh, you can obtain this from the battle pass but realistically at the position that it's in in the battle pass it's 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 a long grind away and then yeah you have the pet being the spider and the other mount being the pig all right so moving on from that mini boss there is one more but just like the other one this one has already been defeated normally he would be pacing back and forth right here inside the skitter village if i'm not mistaken i believe he is level 35 36 and he does drop some epic items but again he is more considered kind of like i guess a mini boss to show you guys the exact location this is where i am at right here which again is literally just super duper close to the previous location where we were for the tarantox now for these next few bosses they are going to be for the extremely high level these are going to be for really levels 48 and higher and realistically i probably wouldn't even recommend doing it until you're probably level 50 or until you have your full legendary set a couple of warnings before we move on with this one his name is Bayam, and he is indeed located inside of the catacombs. Quick little warning about this is that once you step inside of the catacombs, your PvP will be turned on by default. You cannot turn it off. And that goes for basically the next two bosses that I'm going to be showing you guys. So keep that in mind. You will not lose anything if you die as long as you're not pk status enabled so just make sure that you're not attacking anybody inside of here even though technically that won't turn on your pk status but if you do leave your pvp turned on and then you attack somebody that has a white name outside it will turn on your pk status and if you die inside of there you will lose your stuff with that being said the location that i am showing you right now which is right here to give you a better perspective there is elder woods right underneath the sign to the bottom right hand side this is the entrance to the catacombs you're going to notice because all of these statues are going to be sort of in the walkway make your way inside of here which as you can see there is plenty of other players that are coming into here you're going to want to go ahead and start heading down these steps instantly as you're halfway through you will get a notification saying pvp enabled just keep making your way down don't make a right there just keep going straight then make a left hand turn and keep going straight down the hallway over here instead of making a right and just sort of follow this hallway all the way to the end till you fall inside of this room here then obviously you will go the only other way that you can go being right continue going down straight you're going to end up going through a completely other room which again there is no other way of going besides this way you'll enter a second room with the same exact thing then finally you will be making a right and a left where you will then be inside of Bayam's room he is located right over there bro is super strong he's got 52,000 hp he is a lower level technically than tarantox but personally i think he's a lot more difficult just because of the different abilities that he has looking over here at his drops he has some pretty good stuff especially when you start getting down to the bottom he has basically every single legendary weapon Weapon, including the bone crusher legendary mount at a 0.01 percent drop chance a little higher up he also does have the horse mount and the shadow pouncer at a 0.1 percent this is one of the more popular ones where people like to come farm i would have to say probably between this and tarantox those are probably the most popular ones let's go ahead now and make our way to the final boss that i'm going to be showing you guys in today's video this one unfortunately will require you to either have a water mount or potentially have your flying mount mount already realistically if you're going to fight this you're probably going to do it just for fun and i'm going to show you guys in just a second why that's the case all right so here we are in front of the pyramid as i told you guys at the start of the video there is two waypoints over here or like they're called in the game. I don't know why I keep saying waypoint. They're called checkpoints. But yes, we are currently inside of Sandstone Isle. I definitely recommend that you grab these two checkpoints. It's going to make your life a lot easier than having to fly here all the time. It's definitely not a short trip. So, I mean, do as you please. But realistically, it only costs about 2,000 essence to get here. 
which is not really that much if you're making your way over here. Now, again, as I mentioned before, once you make your way inside of here, you will be PvP enabled as soon as you pretty much make it, uh, I want to say about halfway in. So like here or say or so, I don't know. My PvP was already enabled, so it didn't obviously turn on. But once you come into here, just go ahead and make your way down to the third floor. Just sort of kind of uh, dodge and bob and weave around here through all of these things. In the third floor, you will find yourself the third and final boss. But as I mentioned before we got here, this is something that you would just come to basically do for your ego realistically because vast majority of the mobs inside of here drop legendary stuff like if we check this random mob over here in nightmare lord he's level 56 he drops a dragon whisper bow and pretty much every single one of the mobs inside of here drop legendaries this guy over here uh which is i forget what his name is his name is lord Vito elm currently he drops nothing this guy's level 45 and he is the only lord veto elm in here i have no idea what his his purpose is but he's definitely a boss because he's just i don't know like he's the only guy that's here it doesn't make sense to me i've never actually tried fighting him but i would imagine that he's probably not that difficult at level 45 i mean yeah he's he's fairly easy to be honest and he just drops trash i don't i don't really understand why he's here but he is indeed one of the bosses and pretty much the only boss that's inside of the pyramid and that pretty much does it for every single one of the bosses again i'm doing this video more so that that way you guys don't have to deal with the uh unfortunate paywall of the map markers there really isn't anything else that i can show you guys off of the markers you obviously have the towns but realistically for town it only marks uh virtus you got the quest which i mean it marks a couple of the available quests on the map but there's so many that i don't even understand how i would explain all of these to you guys clicking on them does sort of give you a breakdown of what the rewards are and stuff like that in my case most of these are just repeatable quests and then i guess the final thing here would be the pvp zones but i just showed you guys those uh this one over here is the catacombs and then over here being the pyramid so again hopefully this saved you guys a couple of robux i know that unfortunately the harvesting one is just not ideal who knows maybe somebody will be cool enough and make a website with an interactive map and they'll just end up you know leaking all the locations or something i don't know i feel like that'd be pretty cool it just seems like such a pointless game pass and something to put behind a paywall either way man i hope this helped you out if it did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel i got some more stuff coming out here soon currently working on my legendary set so hopefully i should have that by the end of today all I need to do is get my crafting to level 10. We're currently at level 8, so should be fairly easy, man. Thank you guys for all the support on the videos. I appreciate it so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.